So I got sent this free gift from um, Secure. Secure? Secure? I think it's Secure. Let's go with Secure. That sounds most sensible. So let's see what we've got. So we have a nice flexible USB cable. We have some instructions. I will uh, have a look at those. And what we actually have is this nice HT140 solder tweezers. So let's do the old um, peel. Very nice. And we have a 65 watt um, power supply. We'll have a look at that um, in a bit. And a UK adapter. So I guess this just uh, slides on. There we go. And we have this little stand. So uh, let's get that out. And uh, um, can move this nice case out of the way. I'll get this stand assembled. So one moment. So these tiny grub screws are for holding the um, the tweezer endpoints in. So I think I need to do a bit of adjustment. Let's try and try not to lose these. So I'll put these back in the wheel bag. I guess they supply extra ones because they are so small and you could lose them. So let's put those safe. And looking at these tweezers, I think I probably need to adjust them so that they come together. So let's have a look at how to do that. So I've currently got uh, 300 PCBs on order with the great guys at PCB Way. You can find a link to them in the description. I've been using them for my ESP32 Rainbow project. Uh, check that out on Crowd Supply. Fingers crossed, I won't need to use these tweezers to fix any of my mistakes. So I think that looks pretty good. So I think that's right. Um, let's plug it in and uh, see how much power it draws. So the stand's quite neat. Just uh, do that and our tweezers stay nicely secure. And then we can pull them out by just um, pushing them together. So that seems to work quite nicely. Um, so let's plug this in. So it does have a DC jack as well as a USB-C. So let's plug in the USB-C and I'll use my USB tester to see what it's um, how much current it's drawing. Should round have I got this? The wrong way round. Right. It's me coming through my power. Yeah, this should be going into the tweezers. So where's my thing stuck in detect mode? Let's wait for it to finish detecting. So my power supply does all sorts of um, power up to 20 volts QC2. Kind of doing 5 volts, no temps. Let's plug the tweezers in. And my detector's turned itself off. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Interesting. Oh, okay. Cool. That worked. Um, slightly confusing. So it's uh, 20 volts. Not bad. It's drawing the maximum power. And uh, you can see here we have 19.8 volts, 3 amps. I hope you can see that. Let's, have a, let's bring that up and see if we can focus. So there we go, and if we um, hit this button, we should, yeah. so that's uh, up and down. We hold this button, turned on, still 19 volts, and we've hit 300 degrees C already. So it's already um, gone back to drawing not as much vo uh, amps, so about 0.3 amps, and it's up to 300. That's, uh, that was remarkably fast, so that's not bad. Very fast. Um, so that's using my power supply. Uh, let's give let's give their power supply a quick go and see what that does. It's supposed to be a 65 watt, so 20 volts again. Brilliant. And um, if we hit the start button, there we go, up to 300 already. So it gets up to uh, 300 degrees C pretty quickly. That's pretty impressive. Not bad at all. So um, really takes advantage of uh, power delivery for maximum power. So that's, that's really amazing. Um, I think we should give this a go, shouldn't we? Let's, uh, let's try desoldering some components using these tweezers. Um, I'm quite excited by this. Fantastic. So uh, I've got a Pi Pico board here that I uh, recently destroyed or killed it doing some experimenting. Uh, let's just try desoldering 
some of the tiny components on this one. So I can see a particularly tiny one there. That'll be interesting. There's some slightly larger ones there. So what I'll do is I'll just um I will just squirt on a bit of flux to help. And uh, let's give it a go. So I've got my tweezers. Um they do get up to temperature really nice and quick. So let's give this a go. This is my uh, first attempt at doing something like this. So uh, bear with me. But yeah, we can see the little tweezers. That's good. In we go. Now then, am I getting the right angle? Now, of course, these boards don't have leaded solder, which does always make this more tricky. So we could actually feed on some leaded solder. Oh, there we go. Well, there we go. That's uh, that's removed. Ah, that was, I think I was going the wrong angle to begin with. Let's see if I can actually... There you go, that's that tiny component. Um, you can just about see that on, on the black surface. Yep. There you go, get off, get off. Okay, so yeah, right, okay. Right, let's try again. Let's try another one. Let's try this slightly larger one. Oh, that's much better, yeah. I think we got the right temperature now. Well, I mean, they certainly seem to work. Um, this will definitely be useful for doing um, removing components and stuff. Let's do some of these larger components. Yeah, there we go. That works really well. So this does get stuck on the tweezers, but uh, yeah, that works nicely. So it's still there. Get off. Let's work along these components and I'm just remove them all. So uh, need to turn our turn our temperature back up. Does go into idle mode quite quickly. We could probably tune that in the settings. So they come in. Yeah, okay. I think I've got this now. I think before I had slightly the wrong uh, temperature set, so it wasn't quite quite working as well as it could. Yeah, there we go. That works really nicely. Oh yeah, that kind of mushies, yeah. Yeah, a bit of flux. To help the temperature. Now we've got some of these tiny ones here. Let's try them. Yeah, very good. Oh, I quite like these. These are very handy. Very good. Uh, it does go into idle mode quite quickly. Um, but you can just click the button and it comes out of idle mode. So, there we go. Yeah, much easier. In and out. Oops. We're moving these fantastically easily. So... Yeah, not bad. I uh, quite like these. These are a good addition to the uh, to the kit. Um, also very handy when I have to inevitably rework my PCBs, um, which is quite often because I do tend to make a lot of mistakes. So yeah, thank you very much from Secure for the uh, tweezers. I'll put a link to these in the description. Um, yeah, they seem to work really well.